hello dear students hope you are all doing well in this video i will be discussing the taylor series method i have taken the question from the uh, november december 2023 question paper okay so let us follow it uh, employ taylor's, taylor's series method find uh, y at x is equal to 0 0.1 and uh, 0 0.2 okay given that dy by dx is equal to 2y plus 3ex y of 0 is equal to 0 up to fourth degree terms let me discuss uh, point wise here what does this fourth degree term mean what does uh, this dy by dx is equal to 2y plus 3ex means so dear friends in the taylor series method we are solving the ordinary differential equation of the first order okay this is the differential equation of the first order uh, we would be find out the approximate solutions for this particular derivative okay and uh, what is this fourth degree term first of all uh, you will be having the formula in the handbook in the examination no need to remember but this is called the taylor series you have to remember it okay y of x is equal to y of x naught plus x minus x naught y uh, dash of x naught plus x minus x naught whole square divided by 2 factorial y double dash of x naught okay and uh, this is your x minus x naught upon 3 factorial a uh, whole cube y triple dash of x naught plus so so on okay uh, this x minus x naught is considered as the power series in taylor series method it is mentioned here fourth degree term means this one this much is one degree is one okay one factorial i can write down and this is your x minus x naught square this is second degree term and this is cube third degree term and uh, similarly i can take here x minus x naught divided by four factorial okay raised power four y four times of x naught uh, yes y4 times of x naught uh, plus so so on so this becomes your taylor series for the particular question now we have to solve it and this much is given y of 0 is equal to 0 this is called as initial condition in general we are taking it as y of x naught is equal to y naught okay so i can write down here given in solution you can write down the given data that is y of 0 is equal to 0 means instead of x naught here is 0 i can write x naught is equal to 0 okay hope you are getting and instead of 0 here y naught y naught is equal to 0 so these two terms already i am getting the question and this is given dy by dx dy by dx is also denoted by y dash okay which is equal to so there should be no confusion it is similar dy by dx is always denoted by y dash so it is equal to 2y plus 3e power x okay up to this i hope it is clear now what we have to calculate <coughs> we have to calculate these y dash of x naught y double dash of x naught y triple dash so that we can employ it in the taylor series okay now let me calculate first here y double dash means you have to differentiate this term i may call it the first equation so y double dash is equal to 2 what is the differentiation of y with respect to y so it will be your y dash okay plus 3 what is the differentiation of e power x it will be always e power x okay this is the pu base concept i hope you are uh, calculating this much and you know the, how to differentiate these terms okay so y differentiation is y dash e power x is e power x always now in order to calculate y triple dash so 2 is constant and y dash differentiation is y double dash plus 3 is constant e power x is again differentiation is e power x okay this is your y triple dash and y double dash y dash now you have to put down the values of y and uh, x over here so if i consider x naught and y naught instead of y and x so we just put the value of y is 0 and x is 0 in this case so i can write down here y dash is equal to 2 multiplied by 0 plus 3 e power 0 which is equal to 0 plus 3 into e power 0 anything raised to the power 0 is equal to 1 so 1 into 3 is 3 plus 0 is 3 plus 0 is 3 simply okay y double dash is equal to this is your 2y dash so i can write down 2 into what is y dash value we have calculated here so y dash is 3 so 2 multiplied by 3 plus uh, 3 into e power x what is the x value again 0 so 3 into 2 that is 6 plus 3 into 1 that is 3 6 plus 3 is 9 okay y triple dash is equal to see here 2 into y double dash so y double dash we have calculated here that is 9 plus 3 times e power x is 0 again which is equal to 9 into 2 18 plus 3 into 1 is 3 18 plus 3 is 21 so these are the values of y dash y double dash y triple dash now y 
four times okay this is the differentiation of fourth degree term which is equal to so i can write here first y4 times is equal to 2 y double dash differentiation is y triple dash okay 3 as it is e power x as it is the differentiation of e power x is always e power x okay now 2 into what is the y triple dash value 21 simply you can take here 3 into e power x is e power 0 so 21 into 2 that is 42 42 plus 3 that is 45 this is your fourth degree terms up to fourth degree terms now you have to simply put down these numerical values in the taylor series method so that you will get the required answer okay so this is your y of i can take oh, sorry we have to calculate y at sorry find y at x is equal to 0 0.1 okay so instead of this x you have to take 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 is equal to y of what is the x naught value it is already 0 so y of 0 plus what is the x value that is 0 0.1 we have to calculate this okay so 0 0.1 minus x naught is 0 so no need to write raised power 1 divided by 1 factorial and y dash of x naught we have calculated it that is your y dash of 0 so what is the y dash of 0 value that is 3 okay so multiplied by 3 don't be confused it is actually y dash of 0 y double dash of 0 y triple dash of 0 y 4 times of 0 y 0 it is actually y dash of x naught y double dash of x naught y triple dash of x naught y 4 times of x naught so x naught value is already in the question that is 0 so you can write down here multiplied by 3 okay so y dash of x naught we have calculated it plus x minus x naught x is again same 0 0.1 minus x naught is 0 no need to write square divided by 2 factorial y double dash of x naught so y double dash of x naught is nothing but 9 okay then plus uh, x minus x naught sorry x x value is 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 minus 0 it is 0 0.1 already that is cube 3 factorial y triple dash of x naught how much it is 21 okay plus x minus x naught it is same 0 0.1 raised power 4 divided by 4 factorial multiplied by y 4 times of x naught that is your 45 hope you are getting my points over here so y of 0 0.1 is equal to now you can calculate the value how much is the y of 0 see here in the problem it is given y of 0 is equal to 0 so take here the value as 0 plus this is 0 0.1 power 1 into 3 so you just multiply it so 0.1 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 0 0.3 okay so 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1 whole square 0 0.1 whole square multiplied by 9 okay which is equal to 0 0.09 divided by 2 factorial that is 2 which is equal to 0 0.045 0 0.045 okay then plus so i have calculated this much now 0 0.1 whole cube 0 0.1 whole cube multiplied by 21 sorry whole cube multiplied by 21 which is equal to this much divided by 3 factorial means 3 into 2 that is 6 which is equal to 3.5 into 10 power 3 okay now uh, this much 0 0.1 this power 4 0.1 multiplied by 4 okay multiplied by 45 which is equal to this much divided by 4 factorial means 4 into 3 into 2 okay 4 3s are 12 2s are 24 which is equal to 1.875 1.875 multiplied by 10 raised power minus 4 so when you just calculate it 0.3 plus 0 0.045 plus 3.5 multiplied by minus 3 plus 1.875 okay multiplied by 10 raised power minus 4 which is equal to 0 0.3486 0 0.3486 is your answer for 0 0.1 okay so this much is y at x is equal to 0 0.1 now we have to calculate at 0 0.2 simply you can just put down the values in the taylor series by taking x is equal to 0 0.2 over here okay 
so there will be the similar equation that is this much y of x is equal to y of x naught so in a state of x you have to take 0 0.2 so i can take here y of 0 0.2 which is equal to y of x naught x naught is already 0 see here okay then plus x minus x naught plus sorry sorry up to this uh, when you are just calculating y of 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.3486 it becomes your initial condition see here y of x naught is equal to y naught it is in the form of this y of 0 0.1 instead of x naught it is now 0 0.1 i can write down here now x naught is equal to 0 0.1 what is this value y naught see here just match it with this particular equation y of x naught is equal to y naught instead of x naught here is now 0 0.1 okay and instead of this y naught here is 0 0.3486 okay this becomes your y naught value so i can write down here y naught is equal to 0 0.3486 eight six hope you are getting my point now i can write down y of 0 0.2 is equal to y of x naught x naught is now 0 0.1 0 0.1 plus see here x minus x naught so x i have to take 0 0.2 okay minus x naught value is 0 0.1 raised power 1 divided by 1 factorial multiplied by y dash of x naught so y dash of x naught we have to calculate now separately okay so first of all let me calculate now uh, these values instead of x when you were taking 0 now x naught changes that is 0 0.1 you have to put down x naught value in this in this particular equation as 0 0.1 so let me separately first calculate over here okay so i can write down on this separate page i will write down so that we can take the values later on okay so y dash is equal to 2 into y so what is the y value y not value you have to take now 0 0.3486 okay 0 0.3486 okay plus 3 into e power x x means 0 0.1 you have to take okay so this is your 2 multiplied by 0 0.3486 plus 3 into e power e power 0 0.1 which is equal to 4.01 okay hope you are getting my point which is equal to 0 4.01 now y double dash y double dash is here okay so y double dash is equal to 2y dash 2 into y dash value is here 4.01 plus 3 into e power 0 0.1 which is equal to 2 into 4.01 plus 3 into e power 0.1 which is equal to 11.33 okay 11.33 now y triple dash so y triple dash is here 2 into y double dash so y double dash we have calculated that is 11.33 plus 3 into e power 0 0.1 which is equal to 2 into 11.33 plus 3 into e power 0.1 okay which is equal to 25. 9 7 25.97 now y four times which is equal to 2 into this is your y triple dash okay so y triple dash value we have calculated that is 25.97 plus 3 into e power 0 0.1 so let me calculate it 2 into 25.97 plus 3 into e power e power 0. 1 which is equal to 55.25 okay these are the values now you have to put down these values in the Taylor series whatever we have discussed so far it is very simple just calculate these values and putting down in the following equation so what is the equation x minus x naught into y dash of x naught so y dash of x naught is 4.01 4.01 okay plus x minus x naught so x value is 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 whole square divided by 2 factorial multiplied by y double dash of x naught so y double dash is 11.33 okay plus now x is the same 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 divided by 3 factorial cube uh, multiplied by y triple dash of x naught y triple dash is 25.97 okay plus x minus x naught that is 0 0.2 minus 0 
4 raised power 4 divided by 4 factorial multiplied by y 4 times of uh, x naught that is 55.25 so let me calculate it in whole y of 0 0.2 which is equal to so let me calculate it here <coughs> so y of 0 0.1 it is given here we have calculated y of 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.3486 so 0 0.3486 plus so let me calculate this whole now okay so point three four three four eight six plus zero point two point two minus point one divided by one okay multiplied by four point zero one zero one okay plus point two minus point one whole square we have to take here bracket start this is your whole square divided by 2 factorial means 2 multiplied by 11.53 is it 11.53 oh yes sorry 11.33 okay plus divide option that is point sorry bracket start point 0.2 minus point 0.1 whole cube okay divided by 3 factorial means 3 into 2 multiplied by 25 into sorry 0 0.97 25 0.97 plus divide option bracket start 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 whole raised power 4 whole raised power 4 divided by 4 factorial means 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 okay multiplied by 55.25 which is equal to 0 0.8108 so i am taking the whole answer now okay 0 0.8 8108 is your answer for y of 0 0.2 so it was in the question mentioned uh, y at x is equal to 0 0.1 and y at 0 0.2 so y at 0 0.1 is how much 0 0.3486 and uh, y of 0 0.2 is 0 0.8108 this is the answer for your Taylor series so make sure your, an your answer will be correct in the examination so that they can give you the full marks so practice varieties of problems from the Taylor series method okay no need to remember the formulas as you have the handbook in the examination okay so better to practice lot of problems as much as possible so